Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of my Cedar Point Recreation Park. In the last episode we started stage four where we are building out some stations and infrastructure for some of our major rides. Today we're going to move over to Corkscrew for no reason other than that's just what I was motivated to work on today. A little bit of a smaller ride, so I was hoping this would make for a slightly easier and shorter build. Not one of my favorite coasters. I've talked a lot of smack about this one before, but you have to admit this is a darn good looking ride, mostly because of those corkscrews going over the midway. This one is a tiny bit tough because of those classic aero style supports under the lift hill, nice big boxy thin steel supports that are a little bit hard to replicate in RCT. The still latticework pieces look a little bit too messy, but I think that's all we can really use for now. It's probably gonna look even worse when we get to Magnum and do the same thing, but we'll see. Can't say I'm totally happy with the way the station turned out, particularly the topper. Tried a couple different designs to get the slopes of the roof and the Pizza Hut style thing that sticks out on top to look right. What we have here definitely looks a bit too boxy and I'm not a huge fan. I'd poke around and see if I can find some inspiration for something similar later on. But one other nice thing about Corkscrew is that it is surrounded by lots of lovely foliage and gardens. So that definitely helped make this area a lot more pleasant to work on because it was a lot nicer to look at. It's really nice to get some of these green fields of nothingness cleaned up and turned into something a little bit more interesting. I also looked a little bit at the Super Himalaya station area. I think I made a bit of a mistake with this build in making the track all way too high off the ground. So the roof definitely looks a little bit too high and it looks real awkward. Not really a fan of how this one turned out at all. It was just kind of a first draft anyway, just to see what it would look like with a basic roof. And I really don't like it. So I might have to come back and completely rebuild Super Himalaya, which I'm not pleased about. That's definitely why I want to get all the rides built first, but I hadn't really thought about the verticality of rides like this. But I think this is the only flat ride where I have it go super high. Matterhorn might be a similar issue, but I don't think it's quite as tall as this one. But I'm going to let this one percolate a little bit and we'll come back to it and figure out a better solution sometime in the future. But anyway, that's going to do it for today. A pretty quick build, but it is nice to get some of this stuff laid down and get things looking a little bit more pleasant over here. As always, if you've got any comments, questions, suggestions, let me know. Thanks for watching.